poem of my own I wanted to read, so I'll read somebody else's. And uh, with lack of inspiration, what better than Wild Dreams of a New Beginning by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. All right, my man, yeah. There's a breathless hush on the freeway tonight. Beyond the ledges of concrete, restaurants fall into dreams with candlelight couples. Lost Alexandria still burns in a billion light bulbs. Lives cross lives, idling at stoplights beyond the cloverleaf turnoffs. Souls eat souls in the general emptiness. A piano concerto comes out a kitchen window. A yogi speaks at Ohio. It's all taking place in one mind. On the lawn, among the trees, lovers are listening for the master to tell them they are one with the universe. Eyes smell flowers and become them. There's a deathless hush on the freeway tonight as a Pacific tidal wave a mile high sweeps in. Los Angeles breathes its last gas and sinks into the sea like the Titanic all lights lit. Nine minutes later, Willie Cathers, Nebraska sinks, Nebraska sinks with it. The sea comes over in Utah. Mormon tabernacles washed away like barnacles. Coyotes are confounded and swim nowhere. An orchestra on stage in Omaha keeps on playing Handel's water music. Horns filled with water. And bass players float away on their instruments, clutching them like lovers horizontal. Chicago's loop becomes a roller coaster, skyscrapers filled like water glasses. Great lakes mixed with Buddhist brine, great books watered down in Evanston. Milwaukee beer topped with sea foam, beau fleuve of Buffalo suddenly becomes salt. Manhattan Island swept clean in 16 seconds. Buried masts of, masts of Amsterdam rise as the great wave sweeps on eastward to wash away overage Camembert Europe. Manhattan steaming in sea vines. The washed land awakes again to wilderness. The only sound, a vast thrumming of crickets, a cry of seabirds high over in empty eternity as the Hudson retakes its thickets and Indians reclaim their canoes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.